All right, so I'm going to try to put some data inside of here. So I'm going to open my attribute table. And I have this, actually, I'm going to like make this smaller. Maybe dock it towards the bottom of my screen so it's kind of a little bit out of the way. I'm going to click this little drop down, this table options thing, and I'm going to choose add field. And I want to add the elevation information. So I'm going to call this from. I'm going to keep it short from elev. I'm not even going to have a space in there. And the type of data I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a double. And this has to do with how much space and memory it needs to take up. So if you have a very large number, you want to use a double. If you have a very small number, you could get away with a short integer. But I'm just going to keep all my data types the same. I'm going to just make everything doubles. I'll go ahead and click OK to this. And notice now that all of these are blank. And I can populate this with information. But before I can do that, I actually need to go into another editing session. So I'll just right click on nodes again, go to edit feature, start editing. And as soon as I do this, the information in this field can be changed. So I'm going to put in the from elevation, which is 1024.90. And let's just pretend for now that, well, I'm putting it in the wrong one too. So I actually want to put it in node 15. So I'll just leave it as this, and let's pretend that I'm done with that one, and I'll hit save. So that was for this one here, this node 15. So notice it has a from elevation. Let's say that I want to add a to elevation. So I'll go ahead and add another feature. Did I stop editing? There we go finish yep finish stopped editing so you can't add another field until you're out of an editing session that's an important thing to remember so I'll add field and I'll do the same thing I'll make this a double and this will be my two elevation and I'll go into another editing session And I can add in the two elevation in here. And the two elevation is 1024. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit stop editing, save my edits. And you can see that now it has a from and a two elevation. So if I use my identify tool, it should have that data in there now. So I have a from and I have a two elevation. Let's just say for whatever reason we don't want this from column or this to column in here. So we can select it and right click on it and delete field. And the only way that we can do this is we need to make sure that we are not in an editing session. So I'll go ahead and delete this. And I'll delete it here as well. And the reason why I'm deleting it is because I entered in the two frame elevation for a pipe when this is actually an inlet. So number 15 is an inlet. So let's actually enter in the actual data. So I'm going to add another field. And it's going to be a double. And it's going to be the rim elevation. And while I'm at it, I'll just add another field in here. And I'll make it a double as well. And this will be the invert elevation. Now I'll go into another editing session. And I'll just do it for number 15. So on number 15, the rim elevation is 10. 26.62 and the invert elevation is 1024.93. Once I'm done, I can go up here to the editor and choose stop editing, save my edits. And now if I use the identify tool on node 15, it will tell me that it has a rim and an invert elevation. So some other things I may want to add in here is the type of node this is. 
So this is a stormwater inlet. So let me go ahead and add another field. This time the data type is going to be text. And I'm just going to enter in type. And down here it says the max length you can have is 50. So I'll need to start another editing session again. Make sure my nodes are selected and over here I'm going to type inlet. So if you have man, if some of these are manholes, you can change the type to manholes. This will help when you go to symbolize these different nodes. So from here I'll go ahead and choose stop editing. And do I want to save my edits? I'm going to click yes.